Let's go. Doink a five pounder real quick. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm here with Fishing with Norm. He'll be linked down below, so make sure to go check out his video. He's also doing daily uploads, so he's Ooh. he's working, putting out some great content for y'all. But today, what we're gonna be doing, you know I haven't caught a big mouth bass in a while on this channel, so what I'm gonna be doing today is Norm is gonna take us into this Walmart and he's gonna pick us out, what do you think, maybe 10, $15, $20 worth of fishing lures? Sure. That Somewhere works. anywhere in between ten and twenty dollars worth of fishing lures, and we are gonna go to a pond, or he's gonna actually take us to a pond, and we're gonna try to go catch some big mouth bass on the lures that he picks out. Hopefully, he doesn't do us too bad because you know I haven't caught a fish in a while, so I might be a little rusty with my fishing skills. It's not like how it was in the summer, you know, we were out here catching fish every day. But hopefully, we can go inside a Walmart. Norm will be nice to me, pick me out some nice lures, and we can go catch some big mouth bass. So stay tuned. Well guys, we have made it to the fishing section and looking through the lures, I, Norm looked at a couple that I'm like, I hope he doesn't pick those out, but we're not going to tell him that even though I just said it out loud. He probably heard me. Hopefully he doesn't do us too bad, but we're we'll going to let good. him, you know, I guess. I, I want us to catch fish today because we're both going fishing, yeah. so I don't, maybe I'll throw like one weird one in there, but I don't want to like just give us a ton of stuff we're not going to yeah. catch fish on because obviously it's been a... A while since you, because you've been doing the hunting. Yep. So you've actually been fishing, so might as well give ourselves the best chance. Yep. He should be nice to us, I believe. It sounds like he's going to be nice to us, so I guess we'll let him go ahead and start picking. Unless you want me to be mean. No, not I can, really. Not really? Not really yeah. okay, okay. We like, we like nice norm. If you want me to pick out the worst lures, I can do that too. <laughs> All right, so starting off on this side, soft plastics. What do I have? $15? 15 dollars 15 20 anyway. 15 20 I've never fished with these before. But I thought they looked super, super cool. And I've never actually seen Walmart like this stocked with all the different options. Like normally they'll only have like a swim bait or brush hog. Do they make worms? A swim bait might work where yeah. we're going, but also might not. So maybe we'll come back to that. Okay. I, don't, I don't know. But I kind of want to try them just for fun. But I, I don't it's know if it's going to work. It's on you, dude. It's on you. My fish catches today are in your hands. <laughs> so. You like frogs. <laughs> yeah. It's like 30 degrees outside of Florida. That'll work, right? Okay, we're going to start with Old Trusty right here. You ready? The Junebug Red Speed Worm. This on a Texas rig, unbeatable. Like seriously, like there's nothing better that you could do. Okay. If you only had one lure to ever throw, it would be, a, at least for me, it would be a speed worm because you can reel it on top and the tail kicks. You can work it as a top water, like yeah. a horny toad or something. You can hop it on the bottom or you could swim it like a swim bait in the middle of the water column. So you can fish everything at the same time with one lure. That's pretty cool. So this is gonna be lure number one, three, 38. We gotta give ourselves the best odds. It's freezing outside in North Florida fish. When you can see your breath is when I know like the fishing is not gonna be good. And we can see our breath this morning. So <laughs> we gotta give ourselves the best chance here. Do they have Cinco's? Oh yeah, they do, they do. Dude, the umdingers probably, right? They're cheap. Yeah, and true. we're trying to stay in budget here. And since we already got Junebug Red, I say we go some green. Mm -hmm. And that way we have like two opposite Turns. colors and maybe for the water yeah, yeah that will if one doesn't work we'll have the Switch opposite color okay, we got dark and more natural still green boom okay one fun fact a frog is like my first ever like bass fishing lure i went and bought that a top water so frog weird. and fished at like <laughs> the most overfished pond where it would never happen at on a spinning rod and like this was like oh, yeah, i think it was probably that yellow frog right there that i bought for the first time so, are we doing terminal tackle? Like, do we have to get hooks and weights, or is that included yeah, we in can the fifteen dollars? We can add that in. We can add it. Yep. Okay. So, do I have fifteen without the hooks and weights, or do I have to fit the fifteen hooks and with it in in all? Oh, okay. or twenty. We'll do twenty since 20? we're doing hooks and weights. Yeah. All right. So, um, the rattle trap, just like the best color all around to go with most of the time, is like either silver with like a black back or silver with a blue back. Like some of my favorites, maybe something like. Okay. There we go. Silver with the blue back. Four ninety two. Yep. Dude, so you can't go us. wrong with the rattle trap. Guys, we have three options. We have top water, like middle of the water column with the rattle trap, and then we have our bottom bait. So we should be able to figure it out today. Like, so we're pretty much there. Mm -hmm. Do we need to hook some weights? Hook some weights. That's the last thing. Let's hope they have them because last time I was here, I was in dire need of bullet weights. Mm -hmm. When we were last second driving here, they didn't have any bullet weights. I'm weird. Or a lot of people like extra wide gap hooks, and I like those more than the normal ones. Mm -hmm. So we have 12 or 12 odd hooks. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we have 12 <laughs> hooks in the three odd size, which is pretty much perfect. I really like, like the thin wire hooks. I feel like it's easier to catch fish or hook fish than like the thick wire hooks, unless you're fishing like super heavy cover where maybe you need to set the hook harder so your and your hook won't bend out as likely with thicker ones 
The thinner ones they will, but I feel like you have a better hookup ratio. But these are kind of like a perfect balance, it looks like. So there's the hooks, and we need bullet weights, probably. Weights. At least for the speed worms. 94 cents, you can get like 15 bullet weights. Those are 316 sounds, which are uh, perfect, actually. Those are my favorite. Like one eighth. I kind of stick around that for like worms, mm -hmm. Texas rigs. I feel like a fall, like not too heavy to where it's falling too quick and it looks unnatural, but like heavy enough to where it's going to get your lure down there where you want it, where the fish are hanging out. Weights and hooks. We're probably right at 15 bucks, right? Maybe. Yeah. I think I we'll stayed be under. In between 15 and 20 for sure. Sweet. All right, guys, we have made it back to the car. Norm did a pretty good job. He spent 14, what was it, like 1460 something? Yeah, 1463, some something like that. So he did a pretty good job. We stayed under $15 with, we stayed under $15 with lures and hooks and weights. So I think we did pretty good today. Good job, Norm. Thanks. I appreciate you <laughs> hooking me up with some decent lures to go catch some big mouth bass. So now we are on the way to the pond and we're going to go whip to the pond real quick and try to get on some fish. So stay tuned. Yes, sir. Well, guys, Norm has brought us to some juicy looking golf course ponds. We just pulled up at one. There were some golfers, so we decided to move on to the next. So we didn't make anybody mad. But the plan for here is we're going to fish each one for about five, ten minutes. How many ponds do you think there are? Seven, like within five minutes of us. So we okay. got a lot of ponds to hop, and hopefully something will bite. It's cold out, so like maybe six could be bad, but one could be good. Okay. It's different every single day. So, guys, we're going to go ahead, and I think I'm going to start off with those trick worms, I'm thinking, and try to catch a couple big mouths on that. This pond looks pretty good. It has some like, structure over there on that side, but it's cold outside, so the fish might be sitting deep. So we have a lot of different options of places to fish. So... We're gonna go ahead and get into that, so stay tuned. What lures are you trying to make me throw here? <laughs> oh, oh, we need to pick our lures. I forgot yeah. about that. I guess, I guess these would be easiest, dude. Let's catch our big bass. Load your loss on your freaking 10 pounds of this thing. He's so angry. He was throwing a lizard. And it, he was talking, some dude came up and started talking. Dude, what are the chances of that? I like literally thought I was gonna die when I felt it like coming down. Well guys, we're gonna start off with the good old fashioned yum dingers. Guys, we have our little yum dinger tied on. We, um, first cast, we went straight into the tree, but hopefully we can pull out some big mouth bass. I feel like this pocket should be pretty easy. <laughs> Maybe like you're too advanced for it. Dude, I need some lotion so bad. Like, it's like every time I go fishing, my hands are ashy and then they get wet too. So they're like even oh, extra I ashy. Like yeah, like there's really no point. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's one. There he is. You see the line though? <laughs> dude, that was honestly could have been 10, 11 pounds. Honestly, dude. <laughs> every bit. Once a year we catch like half pound probably. He's on it, I think. Like, it's probably so dinky. If it is a fish. He just hit it twice. Yo, superintendent's son called him Brim. And I think yeah. it's extra it's big as both his hands. Huh. <laughs> I don't want to fish anymore. <laughs> They're for sure bites, though. Yeah, no doubt that was a bite. Okay, so this pond is well fed, which is interesting too, which means that I guess maybe this water comes from a well. They pump it into here, and it keeps it full. I don't know how that works. Just imagine, like, you just, the seven pounders, two of them back there. Yeah. Got him. Oh, my gosh. No. Dude, I lifted up. I don't know if you saw my line. went, dude, and it went, 110% of fish. Speed worm, dude. They love the speed worm. I might have hooked him too long, too, like, he, uh, he might not come back, I don't know. No, Larry, that was, I promise you, 10,000% of fish, like. A single bite, you finally find one. Yeah. <laughs> he was close too, like he was like, probably like right, like he followed it in like quite a far away. Got him, out there in the middle. Speed worm, baby. A little, he, he was so far out fish there though. One. Hey. I'm gonna go show the guy real quick because he turned on the fountain for us and might have turned the fish on. I'm gonna go show let him me, my. Let me double up real quick. I casted like, you see how the sand kind of goes out and it gets a little bit deeper? Yeah. Like right where I couldn't see the sand anymore, I like right casted all, all the way over there. Down. Yeah, and I guess he came up and scooped it. I hadn't even reeled yet and it was just sitting there. Yeah. Those are probably the ones we were missing by that fountain too. They're like yeah, little. Same size, same yeah. size. Because I know that one, 
it probably like just picks up the end of your worm and just like yep, takes just it take, and drops yep. it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's really fun. I'm gonna show him real quick. Guys, Norm caught his fish, so now I gotta step up because it's he bought the lures from me and now he's catching fish on the lures he got from me. So I was like, that thought process thinking, I need to step my oh there's one right there. Oh he hit it right as I was talking. But well, we're gonna get Yeah, I had a bump. But anyway guys, we're gonna we're gonna catch one. He's coming. Oh, I think he's still on there. Actually, there he is. Oh, I think he might still be on there. Actually, no, he's not. But we're in the fish. We found him. Now we just have to catch him. We got him, little baby. On this on the speed worm, actually, just randomly out there. Oh, there's one. Oh, there we go, baby. Thank you. One of four. Let's flip them. Oh, look at that, guys. We got fish number one of our mission. That was kind of scary. Guys, ever since I put that treble hook in my finger, like middle of the summer, I'm like low key scared to like unhook fish just because that hook did not feel good. Well, Norm, you can't trick me, dude. It's fish number one. It's not, it's not big, but I mean, it is a big mouth bass. This is Big Mouth Bass number four of the trip for me. It's pretty cool. I kind of want to kiss him. He's nice and thick. Feels nice and slimy. He's thick boy. Later. You got to get a little fist bump action sometimes. So kind of, there you go. All right, we're going to give him a little toss back. See you later. Let's go. Dude, normally I do that like on my videos, but like nobody gets to see it. So I feel like my face is going to be like, <laughs> Why does your rod make it look so good, dude? Like, <laughs> that action, dude. Well, I do, but I don't. Oh, hey, man, we're, uh, we're headed out, but we'll see ya. <laughs> Thanks for everything. You'll probably see me out here again. Oh, my God. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Oh, dude, that was freaking Oh, there's big. one. There's one. There's one. Oh, he came off. No, he's still, no, he's still on there. Yes! Oh, he came off. Dude, mine was freaking oh, big. I pulled him, and he instantly started pulling me the opposite way. Dude, that's two fish, and literally. I thought we might as well stop off. <laughs> yeah, we. Oh, there's another one. There's another one right there. Oh, dude, I pulled that straight out of his mouth. You see it? You see my rod? Yeah, I saw it, dude. What the heck? Maybe it'll be another one. I'm just pissed off at myself. Cause I got way too much of that. I had him on for a couple seconds. Look, oh, he's still my worm. Look, it's gone. And he took this one. Did he like? Look how bad he did that, though. Like, Dang. That had to be a big fish. Do you have them in your pocket? Yeah, yeah I have. <laughs> dude, I'm so heated about that. Dude, what if we just missed two fives? Ever? Yeah. Oh, that was another one. Holy cow. Dude, we're just having bad luck. <sighs> So better. Oh, there he is. There's one. He's not eating it though. Look at my rod. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's go, Ariel. Of course it's a <laughs> Of course. Oh, <laughs> we can hook the small one. <laughs> hey, but he's better though. I mean, like he could be like right direction though. Hey, like record. Check that out. Yeah, new record. <laughs> I'm in a record book, guys. Norm just basically told me I'm famous now. Check that out. I love when people take pictures like that on Fish Brain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take a steal. Oh, gosh. I kind of probably should have walked down there and dropped him in, but it was a quick release. He should, he should be healthy. So let's go catch a five now. Let's go doink a five pounder real quick. I feel like if you could cast parallel to those like reeds or whatever they're on the water. There's like some big fish in there. There we go. There you go. Speed of worm, little no, baby. Dude, what is that's going the same on? One, dude. Watch it be. <laughs> let me <laughs> step. Let was. me step back up out of your way. I don't actually. This is a different one. Super like small fish, but we'll take it, dude. Feel bad here in Tallahassee, and this one has the big ones in it. Like this is weird. I haven't caught two fish this size like ever out here on a single trip. Normally, like you'll catch a two one, you'll be like, oh dang, it's like a small one. <laughs> you'll catch like a two pounder. Oh, he came off. 
that or like my hook is too short like they're not grabbing enough of the hook because these are the ones we got today are a little bit shorter four seconds i just heard something in the bushes and i don't play that especially not in florida when you know there's like an alligator attack every day out here actually not the alligators and this, this might be the one pond in florida that doesn't have alligator i've never seen one before maybe doesn't a snake there isn't any though <laughs> well like yeah we have four fish in total right yeah. I like to catch one with some size since Norm is telling me they're in here and we keep getting, or I keep getting eight and missing them. Norm's like, Norm's hookup ratio is way better than mine is right now. Yeah, but at least you're getting bites. They just don't want to even hang out with them. Yeah. You're like, oh, it looks good this time. Like, we might have to go down the other side. All right. Caught four though, in yeah. winter. Yeah. So that's, uh, dude, for Alabama, that's, that's good. Like a crazy good day. <laughs> And it really only has been like an hour and a half of fishing. So, so you watch out behind you. Sure. <laughs> the problem is the flow's out and not in. Whoa! <laughs> she falls <laughs> over. It's actually so much more scary because, like, you know, if you fall, like, it's kind of a far fall. <laughs> I should probably throw something besides speed worms out here because I kind of do it every single time. And they're probably like, oh, that thing. But if we threw, like, some, like, craw or something weird. Down. All the way. Okay, let's. Yeah, yeah, no, I thought. Yeah, I feel like we should. Yeah. Well, we're fly fishing from now on. Oh my gosh, dude, that's so fishy, dude. I hate this. Why am I so bad at this? Dude, Norm sees all of these fish, and I'm like, all I see is like the dink, dude. And Norm's like, oh my gosh, there's a three pounder right here. That might even be a three. No joke, like a, he, he came up and just stared at me. Huh. Like in my face. Your face or your bait? Just at my face, he was just looking at me. And he just saw me, he's like, ah, I see what you're doing. Yo, what's up guys? Norman gave us a couple of easy lures today. He also gave us a frog in a trap, which we weren't able to catch a fish on. I was thinking the trap would have worked today, but we weren't able to make it happen. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Norman's going to be linked down below, so make sure you go check out his channel. Let me know what you want to see next. I really appreciate all the support on the channel, guys. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day. <laughs> Wave, my inner soul, make a village glow. You can see the rail through my inner scope. Real grows with a field coat. Get my spirit to the pinch.